the greater good. Hey everybody, Greater Good Mining here. Today I'm going to show you how to install an Axial 1238 fan onto the KS0. Uh, this thing should kick butt for cooling, guys. I got it because I wanted to be able to plug a, a 110, like just a 110 regular plug to cool this thing. Um, and I wanted a high quality fan uh, that I wouldn't have to worry about. So um, this fan has been featured in a lot of other YouTubers videos and I looked up reviews and it sounds awesome and it fits perfectly on this thing guys. So anyway, um, right now it's saying 4698 Caspa, but um, I switched my pool to Caspa pool and their payout is set uh, default to 2000. So you got to acquire uh, 2000 Caspa before they will pay you out. So just keep that in mind guys, different pools. Um, you might be like, what's wrong? How come I'm not getting my Caspa in my wallet? It's because different pools have different um, payout schedules. So you can always change them by punching your in your IP address. I'm fine with uh, leaving it. It's like 2000 Caspa um, acquired before it hits your wallet. I'm fine with that for now, but I eventually might change it. So anyway, let's get into it. Okay, yeah, I had this thing overnighted um, on Amazon. Don't you love Amazon? Um, let's unbox it. So there's the front of the box. Axial Fan Series 1238 Model HS1238-X. Look at the nice little manual and all that. Nice looking fan cover. You can tell it's high quality um, when you compare it to my cheap ones that I put on my GPU rigs. Just like little cheap fans that I bought for them. There's the 110 volt or 120 volt, whatever you want to call it. Um, there's the bolts to bolt it in. And here's the fan itself. Yeah, you guys can tell it's like high quality. I mean, it's metal, it's solid. Let's do an RPM fan spin here, guys, just for fun. Yeah, that's nice. Check that out. Thing just spins and spins. And it's so quiet. The bearings are so quiet. All right, so let's just get it slapped on there, guys. Okay, let's plug it in just to see what it can do, guys. <laughs> oh yeah, it's it's moving air. It's, it's definitely moving air. That'll work. That will work. Blowing all my stickers everywhere. Okay, first, even though it looks cool, we're going to take off our Greater Good Mining sticker. Next, it's pretty simple, guys. Um, we've got little rubber washers. Uh, your nuts, you got your screws. Pretty easy. I already plugged in at the top where the 110 volt plug goes, and uh, they'll show you which direction this fan needs to go right here. So there's not really any question which way the airflow is going. There's an arrow. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but anyway, the arrow is pointing that way, kind of. The airflow goes towards where the sticker is, if you know what I mean. But it, it'll be obvious when you receive the fan, guys. So anyway, you're going to line up your, your fan. And then I'm going to put the washers in between. They're like little rubber washers. Um, let me just set those down first. It'll be easier that way. Rubber washers. Line them up with the holes. It's going to take some fiddling. Um, and it's hard to do with the camera. But anyway, you guys get the point. We're going to put each of these rubber washers on there. Then we're going to line up the fan. Right? I'm going to slot these bolts through. And I'm just going to set this down. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory going forward for this part. Um, put the washers down. Slide the screws through and then put the nuts on the other side. And we'll do like like one of those RPM snaps, ready? Okay, the snap didn't work, I'm back. And the bolts are too big for these holes, so I'm gonna have to just drill them out a little bit. I hate doing that, but um, have to open these up a little bit or you guys can find smaller hardware that will fit on this thing. You choose. Um, I might look around my garage, but I don't think I have anything that's this long and thin. And that's how you have to do it. You're going to have to either drill those out or we're going to have to get some screws that'll fit. 
Okay, so um, now I've got it running, and I mean, the thing is pretty quiet, actually. You know what, let me plug it into the voltmeter, just so you can see how many watts the fan's pulling, so you guys know your total wattage for the whole system. Uh, right now, the KS0 is pulling 68 watts. Okay, this fan is powerful for a reason. It's a little power hungry. It wants 24 watts to run at this speed. It's, you know, it's like it just plugged in. There's no controller on it yet, but you guys can get a controller for it. Okay, me. So maybe I'll find a controller for this and I'll watch my temperatures and just kind of try to eke it down so I can get my temperatures optimized. Um, so in some of my videos where I showed the web GUI, that was when I was doing testing with the infrared to see how hot it would get without a exterior fan on it. Um, and that was with the two little fans running that are um, included in this, but without an exterior fan. So if you see temperatures on my other videos that show the web GUI at higher temperatures, that's because I was doing that for you guys for testing. So anyway, um, hopefully this helps you guys. Um, you can order the same thing as me, but you just have to come up with another solution for your bolts. Um, I might just go to a hard, hardware store and try to get some smaller ones. I don't want to drill this thing. Um, you can do it, but it's at your own risk, obviously. Anyway, hope this helps, and keep it centralized for the greater good. The greater good.